In a time of significant upheavals within the British monarchy, one member has quietly ascended to a prominent role amidst shifting dynamics and challenges. The spotlight has increasingly turned to Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh. Following the passing of Queen Elizabeth and the departure of the Sussexes to the United States, Sophie has solidified her position within the royal family, earning recognition as a diligent and devoted member of the firm. Affectionately known as the late Queen's favored royal, Sophie has taken on an increasingly visible role. She attends prestigious events such as state banquets and trooping the color alongside Queen Camilla. Her elevation within the royal hierarchy became particularly evident following Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from royal duties. With a notable gap left by the departure of the young and glamorous Sussexes, Sophie has emerged as a pivotal figure, actively participating as one of the few working royals under the age of 70, alongside Prince Charles and Princess Camilla. Recently, Sophie was prominently seated next to Emperor Naruhito at a state banquet for the Japanese royals at Buckingham Palace. This placement underscores her growing influence and the trust she commands from King Charles. Despite not being in regular contact with Meghan these days, Sophie shares similar passions for causes like ending gender-based violence and promoting girls' education, reflecting their shared commitment to humanitarian issues. Sophie's contributions as a working royal have taken her across the globe, from Kosovo to South Sudan, Iraq, and beyond, where she's engaged directly with communities affected by gender-based violence. Her visit to Sierra Leone in 2020 highlighted her advocacy for women's rights and her role in promoting peace-building efforts, showcasing the impactful work that members of the royal family can achieve on the ground. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams describes Sophie as cheerful, dedicated, and unassuming, an achiever who diligently supports numerous charitable organizations without seeking public acclaim. In contrast to the perceived self-focus of Meghan, Sophie's approach is characterized by a steadfast commitment to service akin to that of Princess Anne, focusing on substantive contributions rather than personal recognition. Despite their differences in temperament and approach, Sophie's role within the royal family has been marked by respect and trust, particularly from King Charles, who values her reliability and dedication. Reports suggest that Sophie was once considered by the late Queen as a potential mentor for Meghan upon her entry into the royal family. Although Meghan ultimately chose to rely on her husband, Prince Harry, for support, Sophie's standing within the royal household changed significantly when her husband, Prince Edward, was bestowed the title of Duke of Edinburgh. This elevation in rank reflects not only her personal standing, but also a shift in protocol within the family dynamic. A close friend of the couple noted Sophie's relief at no longer needing to defer to someone who has distanced themselves from royal duties and publicly criticized the institution she continues to diligently support. Married to Prince Edward since 1999, Sophie has played a pivotal role in the family's public engagements and charitable endeavors, alongside raising their two children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn. As the monarchy navigates ongoing transitions and challenges, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, stands as a testament to dedication, resilience, and steadfast service within the firm. Her journey from a supportive confidant of the late Queen to a respected figure in her own right underscores her enduring commitment to the royal family and its legacy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Sophie's remarkable journey, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to FameFinder for more captivating stories from the world of royalty and beyond.